So because life is so short, I think that it's best to focused on yourself maybe first you know not on frivolous matters or television shows movies drama and gossip about other people maybe it's best to be grounded with the earth and connect with the people around you immediately and say hi to your neighbors when you can but realize that you're gonna die one day so make every moment count and uh, probably working for oneself is the goal and not do things that you dread but Focus on things that matter to you. Perhaps a life of fitness, sunbathing, and working on your fit, working on your physical body and, and self is not so bad after all. I think everything will align after that. Your mental health, your physical health, these things are important. And so by focusing on your body, it's gonna allow everything else to sort of play out in a positive way. You know, getting to the root of your purpose maybe is important. What is your goal? What is your life's dream? Me? I'm a traveler. I'm an adventurer. I'm an explorer. I still have the lust for the, the adventure, right? There's still so much to see and do and places to be. And uh, I think being complacent and you know, living the mundane nine to five sort of life isn't for me, truly. I need to find my own way to live in this city, right? I can speak to people, I can be outgoing, I'm not shy or bashful. I could be a politician, but I don't seek this public domain. I don't seek this sort of lifestyle. I'd rather be a Joe Schmo. Really, I have the, the 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 blood of Achilles rushing through me. I should be a warrior. I should be at battle. I should be protecting this country, but I'd rather not risk my life. I'd rather be here in the moment, enjoying the graces of God, whatever it may provide for me, and just be grateful and grounded. Perhaps I seek peace and tranquility. I don't seek war necessarily. I do have that sort of desire for adrenaline and that that adrenaline I can seek through my photography and through my art and through creating things because deep down inside my childlike mind and my artist's sort of mentality, yeah, it's going to always be there inside of me. So creating things each day, maybe reading things each day. Yeah, these things are good because yeah, after reading The Shortness of Life by Seneca, I feel different, you know? I feel like I can go on my day and maybe not say anything to anybody. Maybe today I don't have to acknowledge my neighbors. Maybe I can be in my own head and that's okay. 